introducing Luke and the Heartthrob. Is Romina here? Who's that guy? He's yours. Don't gonna tell me. I don't rehearse. We never. I never read the script. I never go over the script with the actors okay. beforehand. Uh, my fear about that is that you peak too early. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, I in fact, I very r only I think two actors in this whole movie I even auditioned. Uh, uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Are they the two younger ones? The two yeah. younger ones. Yeah. 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 You know, in Hollywood, always what happens is these chemistry reads. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of like the thing to do. You yeah. get a couple actors in a room and see how their chemistry is. Mm -hmm. So I had a number of people that were kind of finalists for AJ, and I brought AJ. I brought Emery. You know, I brought all these actors in to sit uh, opposite Dane. And when Emery came in, it was like me and you sitting together. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was this immediate tension between these two. Mm -hmm. They were kind of sitting far apart. They had like, uh, they looked like two alpha wolves kind of uh, sniffing each other up and down, you know? And uh, it was tense in the room. So I said, okay, I, I got an icebreaker question. Who's your favorite actor? And uh, Dane says, well, I always liked uh, James Dean. And Emery says, Marlon Brando. <laughs> and uh, and then they started arguing for about 10 minutes <laughs> about who was better, James Dean or Marlon Brando. And I just sat back. I was like, this is, yeah. this is, because I did documentaries for a long time. And I was like, this is, I can just let this go. So I said, okay, <laughs> give me one more. I said, you guys can agree to disagree. You like Brando, you like James Dean. Name someone else. So Dane said, well, I've always kind of liked Al Pacino. And Emery was like this. He says De Niro. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you guys got it. Let's Chocolate and vanilla. Yes, exactly. I asked Ryan. I said, man, you've done so much in your young life. You know what? Uh, you know what haven't you done? Is there, do you still fantasize about things? Do you still want to do things you haven't done? And he says, well, I've always wanted to rob a bank. And I said, uh, well, that's funny. I'm writing a movie about a bank robber right now. He says, have you given it any thought how you might do it? And he says, well, I thought I would. Uh, I could do it on a motorcycle because I could wear a helmet and no one would know who I was. It would disguise my identity. And then uh, I'd leave on the motorcycle because they're very fast and agile. And he says, then I'd have a U-Haul truck parked about four blocks away and I'd drive it into the back of the U-Haul. And then, uh, you know, they would be looking, the cops would be looking for a motorcycle, not a U-Haul. And I said, that's, that's crazy. That's exactly what I wrote into the script. True story. True story. Whoa. And, uh, Talk about kismet. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. So.